Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas to you guys uh, on YouTube land and happy holidays to everybody. Not going to waste too much of your time today. Really wanted to bring something up to your attention. I have some really exciting sneak peeks behind a project I've already talked about here really quickly. It is the PX Quest. If you guys don't know a little bit about that, we're going to talk about that really quickly here in this video. We're talking about these sneak peeks and some of the other information which nobody has seen before in the past, which I cannot wait to be the first person to show you guys a lot more about this project and the details behind the artwork specifically. Again, no one has seen this kind of content before in the past. It's not even publicized so i'm super excited to be first person to be privileged enough to show that to you guys so stay tuned watch this video all the way through before you guys do anything else smash that subscribe button for exclusive first content from me your friend Corey crow and uh let's hop into the channel guys go ahead and press the uh, like button as well so other people like you guys can see this content and really boost up the information behind this particular project which is the px quest without further ado let me bring to you guys these sneak peeks and updates behind PX Quest. Oh, really quickly, guys, before we go any further, of course, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. This place is pretty freaking risky, and I am not a financial advisor. This hat is extremely fun to play with. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, press the like button now. Do your own research. Disclaimer down there. All right, so if you guys are not familiar with the PX Quest, PX Quest is a super sick project. Again, I've already covered this video in the past. Uh, the project in the past that being said i want to hop into it one more time because there's some really good information as well as some sneak peeks which i cannot wait to show you guys but really quickly brief overview behind the px quest you guys this is a pixelated situation as you guys can tell as well right off the bat this is their website you guys have already seen this before in the past if not pxquest.com is the website the website is super cool it has this pixelated artwork with a super fantasy related uh, aesthetic right off the bat you guys can see right here in the middle they have a lot of different animations a lot of different stills of these more common like legless type characters some more uh, animated ones which are certainly going to be the more legendary or rare uh, individuals as well as this mechanic looking guy and the really cool thing about this project not only the fact that they have different we're, we're talking about a lot of really cool things behind this but look at the animation here look at the motion that these two give you super Sick stuff. There's very little, if not any, projects that have done pixelated or animated artwork as well as the team over here at PX Quest. So congratulations to you guys. Uh, I see this project doing really well, but really quickly, the project is a collection of NFTs or non-fungible tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. 5,000 total, so super limited supply, which I 100% am for. So not only do you have a limited supply, you got really cool artwork as well as a sick roadmap and well done website as a whole. So you guys can kind of get, take a look at the roadmap if you guys would like to. Talks about the Kronos utility token, which is their utility token, of course, for the game that they're producing next year in 2022. And there's a lot of super sick stuff that's happening with that. There's rating. There's all kinds of really cool stuff. We're gonna talk about some of that here in this in this video. But as you would like to, a lot of people wanna know about the team. These two individuals over here are completely docs. You can press on their LinkedIn, which is super sick. I love that about any project. You can go to their Twitter handles as well. And Meowie, Meowie, I love you, man. Uh, great people, great team as a whole. You guys can see a lot more about their particular profiles if you guys would like to, again, on bhxquest.com press on there so they are docs which is really great to see you're going to find that with a lot of uh, projects these days they don't like to show their faces too much so really quickly they're not they're not uh, ashamed to, to do that so well done people really quickly i want to show you guys one 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 thing hang on don't don't go anywhere hang on i'll show you their white list their white paper excuse me white paper white papers are really important because it is sort of their like official document behind releasing to the public what they expect to say like what is the px quest how do we get it what is rating what is dueling what is kingdom building guys there is so much cool stuff happening with this project if you guys don't know about this project there's a link in the description below to two different links they're going to see the discord for the px quest it may or may not be open sometimes they open sometimes they close it also the other option i might recommend you guys taking a look at is my particular discord channel I mean, there's some really exciting things that are happening there. If you guys don't know about alpha content, there is some super sick alpha content with well-qualified people to give you guys that sort of information, as well as a lot of other exciting things that are happening within that channel. So go ahead, hop down there, say hello in the general chat as well. But one of the biggest things I wanted to show you guys with the PX Quest is, again, first and foremost, 100% what's going on with the project is the sneak peeks so the very first thing i want to show you guys is this character here again seeing it on this side of things where you can see the whole development process it's really cool to see the palettes on the left the layers on the right and these different sprites etc and those are all terms for things we're seeing here within this but this is a work in progress you get to kind of see the back uh, side of things or behind the scenes sort of thing so how, how they're created and i'll show you guys a couple more of these as well 
We're seeing a helmet here, which we have never seen before seen in the past. I think that's super cool, as well as this character here. Again, another different helmet behind this uh, other character. So you guys get to see some different things uh, we haven't seen before in the past, which I do like these different emblems and things. You can just tell the art is here is really well done, 100%. Here is a new monk in the works, which is super cool. Apparently, they're going to be redoing the body. I'm going to show you guys the new Lancer as well. Here is uh, the new Lancer. Again, more sketch work, but again, they're refining these, and that's what I really appreciate about this process, is they show you the roughs and then the development of that into the ultimate, the final piece. I 100% love that kind of stuff. I don't know if you guys dig that kind of thing or not, but I know a lot of people in this space do, uh, so I think you're gonna really appreciate that as well. There's a fireman hat right there, so you might get a fireman hat, which would connect with a lot of people. Here is a different monk weapon, something that's more of a, a dagger-esque look. I'm not really sure the, the script, uh, descriptive title behind that particular weapon, but it's super cool to see that they have different weapons for different classes. He says he doesn't know what this is, but I like it. I don't know if you guys dig it. I like the beanie, I like the gun. I like a lot of things I see here with this project, so I'm not I'm not opposed to it by any means. All right, so what you're seeing on the screen here is something that I think is super cool. Uh, he was so grateful to share with me the conceptual art or what you would call the storyboards behind the animation or what uh, th this particular person had in mind for this one of one legendary source sorcerer look it is super exciting to see this kind of content of course this is a very rough sketch but he's getting the overall concept behind uh, the image and how he would like it to translate per keyframe for that ultimate piece to be finished up and, and you guys can probably see the differences there too you can see how it came to be this little sketch and ultimately into this beautiful piece here as you guys can tell let me just click on this so you guys can get the full screen version of this you've probably seen this before in the past but if not I got super hyped when I first saw this. It is a super cool piece. I would love to own that one. We know exactly which one this one is as well. If you guys don't know, I'm gonna flash it on the screen so you guys can see exactly which one this one is conceptually. Again, well done. This is how you make a project, y'all. This is exactly how you make a project with an animation. You have to come up with concepts and storyboards so that the artist can take those, render it, and ultimately animate it as well. So it's it's a cool process to see. You guys probably already figure out I'm geeking out a bit about this kind of stuff. All right, so one of the other things that is really cool, uh, none of these have been released yet. They're unreleased, not set in stone, but give you an indication of where his head is at with a different project. You can see here it sort of has this more angelic feel to it. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens with this one. I think that's going to fly pun intended pun, pun intended um i think it's gonna be super cool that, that, that also it looks like it's gonna be a pretty dope prop piece this one here ah, gosh it reminds me a lot of uh, if you're not familiar with the uh world of warcraft reference there it's pretty cool i think it's gonna have some death knight vibes pretty excited to see how that one that one plays out as well and here is another one I don't know where this one's going, but it's kind of cool to see there's gonna be this sort of mischievous or masked character and then the face is revealed and then it kind of diminishes back. I'm excited to see how that works. I can't quite picture in my mind what that looks like or how that would turn out, but I think of course, props to him and the team and, and you guys know exactly what you're doing, but I'm excited to see how this one looks out. I'm trying to figure out the pieces, connect the dots, but I think I needed a couple more boards to kind of connect it all together but overall super thankful that he was able to show that to me as well and you may have seen this one before in the past if you guys are in their discord if not again link to that in the description below we've seen this one here so sort of the the cop and the robber if you want to play on that side of things but let me show you guys one thing to connect this particular piece that makes it super exciting here's the conceptual art the storyboards for it. we have this character here we just saw him he's looking around he opens up what looks to be like a jacket with trinkets or some other kind of coin something happens he runs away we have the cop uh, as well and then they disappear and he's back so super cool let me show you guys that animation i love it i love it i love the red face and then he chases after him. It's so cool. I geek out about the smallest of things, and that is certainly one of them. All right, so that's gonna conclude it for the whole video. Let me guys uh, fix my hat real quickly. Don't wanna, don't wanna mess that side of things up real quickly, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that content. Is a quick update behind the PX Quest. Super dope project that's gonna be coming out in January of 2022 with only 5,000 limited supply. Super hyped community. Absolutely love the art. I feel like this community and this project has everything that it needs to to excel into the future into 2022. It's going to be super exciting for January of 2022. Got a lot of projects that are coming out and a lot of other content on this channel. You guys do not want to miss about anything. 
press the notification bell, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your friends and your family that this guy here over here on Corey Crow, uh, YouTube is really cool. Got a great hat and a great look overall and a, t a pretty, pretty awesome smile. So um, go ahead, subscribe, like the video so other people like you guys can find this content and also follow the PX Quest on Twitter and hop into the Discord channel if it's currently open as well as my own Discord for the alphas and a lot of ex other exciting content coming your way very soon until then i will see you guys in the general chat in the px quest and a lot of our cool projects are happening so go ahead and do all those good things merry christmas happy holidays i'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care